So I want to show you a nice um, exercise that you can use in combination of with your leg yielding um, explorations and practices. And what it is, is it's a leg yielding from a 20 meter circle into a 10 meter circle. And oh, what do we have here? <laughs> a little distraction. Um, and you're going to come from the 20 meter circle, leg yielding inward to the 10 meter circle. I'm going to show you in the walk first a little bit. So here is a little bit outside flexion. I'm going to have a come in shoulder to shoulder mode, go forward sideways till I'm about here on the 10 meter circle. Change the flexion, inside shoulder goes back. And we're going to be leg yielding back out. Every other stride, my leg goes on, my inside leg goes on a little bit more. And she goes forward and sideways until we're out, back out on the 20 meter circle again. And then we go straight again. So it's important when you practice that with your horse that you don't um, do it too much and for too long. Especially the 10 meter circle is hard on horses once you have them in the sitting trot or in the posting trot too. I'm going to do it one more time here. Just a little bit of outside flexion, leg yielding in. And then onto approximately a 10 meter circle here. And you don't have to even ride all the way around on the 10 meter circle, just maybe half around. Then you're going to straighten your horse. Use your inside leg, inside leg. Every time my inside shoulder goes back and the horse's inside shoulder goes back, my inside leg goes on. And that way she can really drift out so nicely without there being a whole lot of confusion about where she needs to go. So then I'm going to take that into um, the posting trot. Just show you the principle of it all. So, so here first nice big 20 meter circle. And you always start with the outside flexion and kind of get that feeling of yielding to the outside aids where you get a little bit of a chew once the horse releases to what you're asking for with your outside leg. Here's the outside flexion. Now I'm going to step into my right stirrup, leg yield in, 10 meter circle, inside shoulder goes back, and I'm going to leg yield back out. So, and the flexion of course changed on the 10 meter circle so that she's in true flexion. So, back on the 10, 20 meter circle. So, she's doing super nice here right now. Regular rhythm, you know, and then we're going to do it again. A little bit of flexion to the outside. Stepping into my right stirrup. Keeping her balanced that way. Coming onto the 10 meter circle for about half a round or so. Inside flexion, inside leg gets stronger. And then I'm going to go take her back out again. So, really nice. Very good. So since she's been doing that so nicely to this side, I'm going to do it to the other side for a moment. And just stay in the posting trot and just have her, and again, come on the nice big 20 meter circle. Good girl. So always reaffirm that she's supple and rhythmic before you start with the exercise. And always have a nice, easy going and regular rhythm that you can use as a basis for the next lateral thing that we're going to ask from her. So I'm going to start with the outside flexion again. Looks to the outside. Outside leg is a little bit more dominant, but I stay on the 20 meter circle for a moment. Now I'm going to have her drift in. Here you go, onto the 10 meter circle. <laughs> Change directions here. Change um, flexion, I mean, to the inside. So she's still chewing, which is a good sign. Now I'm going to go let her drift out a little bit. And it's a little bit of a feeling of inside leg against outside rein. You may be able to see that I steady her with the outside rein. Not a lot of inside rein that goes into this um, type of work. So I'm then going to do it again. Outside flexion. Increase my weight in my inside stirrup, on my left stirrup. Here's my 10 meter circle. Switch the inside to the inside flexion again. And then 
slow her down with my knee pressure a little bit if she gets too rushy. And here's your leg yield outwards again. So, super nice. So, and that's pretty much all the rest, right? You can do maybe three repetitions in each side to get started with. And it gives you, again, a nice way to check into your horse's ability to balance him or herself and to yield to your leg aids, which is what all of this is about. And, you know, over time it'll get easier. In the beginning it might, you might have to break it down into smaller steps a little bit, but it's one of those magical exercises that when you master it, you will have come quite a bit of a step forward with your horse. And it's always a super great exercise to gymnasticize and supple <laughs> your horse. All right. Very good. Mm -hmm.